Hi guys. So we got Rimmel London box, PR box. Thank you, Rimmel London, that sent me this PR box. And this is all about Halloween. You can't see it, but you will see it in, in a future shot. <laughs> My name is Elena. I'm on Painted the Raven season two available on What Presents Plus. You can watch me over there and on my channel you'll find Halloween looks, celebrity impersonation, colorful makeup looks and all kind of stuff. So check it out. In this video, we're reviewing the Halloween themed Rimmel London makeup. Everything I got in PR box, including this eyeshadow palettes, some tattoos, and other things so you see everything and i'll tell you what i think so if you guys are interested then keep on watching like comment subscribe and follow me on social media everything is down in the description box so let's get right into this so first of all i want to thank Remo london for sending me over a pr box this is kind of huge i was very excited because this is a big drug store brand and they offered me to send me a pr box i'm like yes of course i'm interested so i haven't used a lot of Remo london in my life <laughs> i don't remember the last thing i had from them to be honest like i don't remember at all so i'm very excited I was very excited. I already used everything, obviously. So we're gonna go uh, item by item. I'm gonna show you. First of all, the box is really cute. I already showed in the beginning. So open it up, and there's like this, what's on my head. It's the packaging material, but obviously it's made to look like uh, uh, like spider webs, and there's candy and the makeup inside and we got actually interesting things so first of all the ones i could not find how much it is the temporary tattoos they're real cool they really work and they're like a bunch of them i have no idea how much they are could not find them and mascara it's a scandal eyes uh it's a volume on demand so mascara is 7.79. You know, it's hard to find prices. Some reason when I go to their website, some of the items just don't have a price. Maybe they discontinued or they're out of stock. I don't know. Have no idea. But the, like the wall Walmart, the Amazon, and some of the Walmart prices they do show up. So then they send me the liners, lip liners, and a gel liner, the couple of lip liners, and the brown, and kind of a pinkish. I already swatched this one, the pink and the brown already been destroyed on my lips. I filled my lips completely with it. Very soft, very nice. So the lip liners are $5.99 and on Walgreens website it shows $3.59. So it's kind of varies. And the black gel liner is actually $2.87, which is really in inexpensive. And actually I'm very impressed with the quality of this thing. It's really good. I already destroyed it because I put it like inside my lips as if I ate a spider. It's like I'm munching on it, so I kind of destroyed it, but you know, you'll see it works. And then we got lip glosses. They sent me three lip glosses. The pinky, the clear, and like a kind of glossy champagne color. I mean, you'll see me talk about them at the end and I'm not gonna swatch them because I mean, they're just lip glosses. They're very nice actually, lip glosses. And they are about $3.39 to $4.79. It's kind of a range. And then we have eyeshadow palettes, Magnifies Electric Violet Edition and Magnifies Rainbow <coughs> Edition. Um, well, you'll see what I think about them. Yeah, I'm not gonna say anything if you don't have anything nice, just nice to say. <laughs> the black is good, ish. The applicators are kind of like a spongy one side and a little brush. It's all right, I guess. <laughs> so the eyeshadow palette starts at six fifty nine, and I think that's a rainbow palette. Yeah, I'm not even sure what the pilot is, but you get the gist. Everything is very affordable and expensive. Some things really blew me away and some things were like meh. But, you know, we created kind of a cute Halloween look with a black wig, with a white spider webs. And I put everything in the package and in my head, <laughs> clearly, because I'm extra. I always use everything and almost use the box itself. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, so we got the spider webs. I got a munching on the spider at the same time because, you know, we extra. And actually, the eyeshadow palette kind of all right. 
you know, worked out on the eyelid. So let's get right into the application. It's a quick voiceover and then I'll tell you at the end what my impressions were. So I almost forgot, guys, I almost was about to take everything off, as you can tell. I forgot to mention the cute hair clip they sent me. I mean, it's real cute. It's spider webby and it really works well. Even my thin hair, it clamps it. I had I used it like the whole makeup application and I pulled it my wig hair up like in a little like puff here. And actually it's real cute. So I just wanted to mention that I really love this part. So I'm starting with a violet edition uh, palette with a black, of course. Black seems to be pigmented. A little patchy. I'm I used uh, a good base before the usual that you use from BoxyCharm and I'm just kind of going with the cut grease with a spider webby kind of shape and so far it's kind of a little difficult to work with this is the brush it came with and I'm just trying to use everything I received so blending with a tiny brush and giving up pretty quickly <laughs> with the purple uh, there is a lot of shimmers in this palette, a lot of shimmers and very few mattes. I'm using the spongy and then my own brush, of course. I gave up very quickly as well. <laughs> so I uh, created a pretty decent rainbow-ish uh, shimmer on the eyelid and using black to blend it. Gel liner is actually the bomb. I love this. So I'm using this in the waterline and actually everywhere else. And then we're going to set this with the eyeshadow. Uh, I usually don't use this in upper lid, but I just wanted kind of to test it and see how it goes. And it glides very smoothly, actually. It's very soft, very pigmented. I'm not sure about the waterproof part because I haven't tested it for that. But other than that, it's a real, real nice gel liner. Uh, using black eyeshadow and purple eyeshadow to a little blend and set uh, the line. And kind of like a spider webby here. I wasn't sure what it was gonna do at the end, so I kind of drew those lines and highlight. Uh, I already did my base, of course, and here I'm using the mascara. The mascara is uh, very decent. I used a few layers and I didn't show you everything, but this is like two, three coats. It's a very nice mascara, actually, I was impressed. Uh, this is a lip liner, very soft, very creamy. I decided to do the whole lip with a lip liner because the lip gloss is so light and I wanted this look to be very Halloween-y, very uh, vampy. And I'm using a kind of a rosy champagne lip gloss. It's just almost cool here pretty much, there's a little shimmer in it. So I use brush so I don't destroy the lip gloss itself. And it kind of gave me this cool tone lip look with it. And this is the final look. So this is the final look of the voiceover. Some of the spiders tried to take off, but it's kind of cool that I used the, I mean, if I say so myself, I used the lining and the packing material of the box. Obviously the packing was meant to look like spiders webs and the plastic spiders are real cool. So I had to put it over my head and my wig, kind of like a black widow type of thing. I mean, it's like a basic Halloween look. It's basic because usually, if you know me guys, I do like face paint and transformations, demons and creatures, but this is like very basic for me, but uh, I wanted to use everything that I was given. So uh, so let's start with the good, bad and the ugly. <laughs> I'm starting off being shady already. So the good, first of all, it's something like not related to makeup, but the face, uh, the tattoo transfer, look at that look at that i'm like i'm impressed i mean i don't think i had like a temporary tattoo since i don't know my early 20s or teens or something <laughs> i just haven't done this and i was kind of shook as how well it worked i don't know why i didn't think it was not gonna work well because i had a little foundation on my neck like a bronzer and stuff and applied it over it with a dirty makeup sponge <laughs> and it worked so i'm kind of like impressed like really really impressed so this was really really cool it would be cool to wear something like that for like when i teach zumba for halloween put tattoos over myself you know it's real cool actually i like that 
I'm really, really impressed with mascara, actually. Because, you know, drugstore mascaras can be hit or miss, but this is actually real nice and does give you volume. Obviously, I put the eyelashes on because, I mean, I'm an extra person, but this stuff really works. And the brush is real thick. I like thick brushes, like it gives you a good volume. Uh, the texture of the mascara itself is not too liquidy, which sometimes is detrimental to thickening effect. Uh, and I feel like it did what it's supposed to do. No clumpy and really, it's as clump proof. And it seems like it is clump proof. So I really like this actually, real nice. Uh, the black gel liner, real nice too. It says it's waterproof. I'm not sure if it's waterproof. It's hard to tell because obviously like my eyes are not watering or anything. But I did set it with uh, a little bit of black eyeshadow in the waterline. And it seems like so far it's not budging. I used it on the upper eyelid, uh, although usually I don't use something like that. I would use the regular eyeliner, like liquid eyeliner. I did use it just to test it, and I set it with the eyeshadow, and I just sharpened the line a little bit with a liquid eyeliner off camera just to, you know, to test. But this is real good one. The lip pencil is really, really good. I'm really impressed with this. Very soft, very smooth. It's a last in finish. Uh, I like how soft they are. Like I already said, they're soft, but like one of the ones that I didn't use, the red one. Real nice, actually. I don't think I ever had lip liner by Rimmel. I don't think I had many things by Rimmel altogether. I don't remember having a lot of makeup by them, but regardless. So this was a good. And now let's get to the ugly. <laughs> Sorry, Rimmel. But this palette, you know how I always say I can make any cheap makeup work. You know, any cheap makeup is going to work on my eyelids. Well, that sort of worked, but the struggle was real. It was patchy, it was not pigmented. There's way too many shimmers, like almost everything is shimmer. It reminds me of like old school um, dollar store makeup with like a less pigmentation and more of a, a like a bunch of nothing. I mean, I'm like, kind of like disappointed, real, real disappointed. Because nowadays, this is like cheap, it's like six, seven bucks. And I'm not even gonna swatch this, it's just not worth it. <laughs> I'm really shady. If Rimmel watches this, they'll never send me any shit again, ever. <laughs> but, you know, I'm just being honest. This is not good, guys. Black was actually surprisingly good. That's the only thing I liked about it. Black is black, actually, and it transfers well. It sticks to your eyelid and actually blends well-ish. It was still a little patchy, but, you know, it's black. But... <sighs> You know, this eyeshadow must, might have did me in, because <laughs> usually I win over the cheap eyeshadow. This eyeshadow actually is my nemesis, <laughs> so I would not recommend this. But, you know, it's cheap, what do you expect? And the lip gloss is real nice, actually. The one that's called Rose, the one I used today, Dorchester Rose, actually does smell like rose. Not overwhelming. I don't taste anything in my lips, but when you apply it, you do smell a little rose. The clear one in the eyes, this one is pinky. Uh, it's called Shumpe. I'll captivate me. It does kind of smell like an old lady's lotion. <laughs> it's so shady. But you know, my grandma had this lotion years ago. <laughs> True story, I'm not lying. It reminds me of that. And that was back in Soviet Union. <laughs> But not in a bad way. It's kind of like fragrance, kind of similar way. And the clear one, let me see. Let me see what I can say about this. Ah, I think it kind of has the same scent. I'm pretty sure they all have the same scent, except for this one. Well, but you know what? Now that I sniff it, it does not smell like rose. It still smells like grandma's lotion. <laughs> but they do work real well. It just the scent is like kind of perfumey. But that's all I gotta say about this. I loved how well they packed the box. Let me show this again. I mean, it's all destroyed because I was trying, I was trying to get all the lining out of the like what it called packaging. I like the way it packed it, and the spiders are everywhere. The spiders still everywhere. The candy is there. If we had trick or treaters in our building, or they have some candy to give away that nobody wants, probably. Anyway, yeah, cats will not eat candy clearly, so I'll need to get some treats for my cats. But they always have treats. But anyway, that's off the topic. So actually, you know, when I started 
makeup obviously you started with eyeshadow right so that was the first impression <laughs> so i'm like this is gonna go down the hill real fast <laughs> and my face into the camera look <laughs> but it kind of went up from that you know i'm really impressed with so the rest of it is like excellent mascara gel liner this tattoos transfer real well it's really neat like i love everything else i wish it would just up the game with eyeshadow i know it's cheap but you know there's no excuse elf can make cheap eyeshadow well and um beauty bay can make cheap eyeshadow like incredibly well wet and wild perfusion hello i have five dollar perfusion palettes that's like like incredible so they couldn't make you know they could make them a little better but you know just work on it Rimmel work on it and come back <laughs> later I'm just being shady but anyway here's my look with a Rimmel box so again thank you so much guys for sending me over it's all jokes and fun but you know most of it I was impressed with so thank you so much for the PR offering and let me know what you guys think have you picked up any of this I know it's kind of random I don't know if you guys are into uh, drugstore makeup like this, so let me know what you think. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and give me a comment below, and do subscribe to my channel, and ring the notification bell if you want to know what I upload and when I upload it. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!